I need to go to work. I'm doing a 13 hour shift. I have 10 minutes to do my makeup. So naturally I thought I'd get the camera out and film a really quick get ready with me video for you guys. You might be thinking I'm about to do the most, but that's not true. It's summer. So I'm about to do the absolute least. Just a little refresh that makes me feel good. My staple look nowadays. It's something I do every day. So without further ado, because I literally can't do any further ado because I need to get to work, let's get painting. Oh, let's have another sip of coffee first. Mm. I just love coffee. Like if I'm addicted and I only have one a day, it's my favorite addiction. Oh, love it. <sighs> Take a moment to let the drugs work. Okay, let's do this. So I'm starting off with some primer. Now you'll notice it goes a bit white. I think that's because of my sun cream underneath. I have Factor 50 La Roche-Posay <laughs> sun cream, which I wear every single day. I don't really reapply that much during the day though, so. I did get this like Garnier sun cream, which you spray on top of your makeup but it made me break out. I don't know if it made me break out or I just had a breakout at the time, but I got so many spots using that. So I apply my primer and what I'm using is the Hydro Grip Primer. Now I got this after watching a tutorial by a beautiful human being on YouTube and I remember using it and thinking, oh, it wasn't the makeup I wanted. It was just her face. I do my makeup in a different order every single time. Like there is no plan here. I kind of just go with whatever. I use the Plump and Brow Artist L'Oreal thing. And it's basically just like this brow brush and primer, which really just moves your brows into the place you want to be. I try not to leave too much liquid on them. Now, I haven't actually tamed or done my brows in so long. They are very much overdue a little shaping and filling and dyeing and plucking, waxing, all of that good stuff. I have 10 minutes and I gotta get to work, work, work. And it's funny because usually people will be like, oh, they have 10 minutes. I literally have to get to work. There is no order to... <laughs> I'm just, I'm feeling the panic in me and I feel like I'm portraying that energy to you guys. And I'm sorry, I'll try and get it together. There is no order to the way I do my makeup. I just see something, I pick it up and I put it on my face. I see something, I pick it up, I put it on my face. Now, one thing I do love, I will always have some kind of lip combo and it doesn't make any sense the way I do my lips. I just put whatever on. Coco Elf lipstick, which honestly is, as you can see, absolutely battered and due to be replaced, but there's still product in there, so I will not. Now I've got my Rimmel Stay Matte lipstick in the colour Love Bite, which is honestly the first time I'm reading that. And the lip liner I used was Just Say Nothing, a locked up lip liner by NYX. And I don't even like that lip liner. It's just the best that I've got right now. I really want just like a dark brown lip liner, but every brown I seem to get is just not quite dark enough. It's either too light or too dark, you know? If any of you have suggestions of the perfect brown lip liner, please let me know. I just like to kind of layer my lips, create some kind of depth and dimension. And my issues is that I usually end up with a little bit too much product on my lips because I never decide really what I'm going for. I just keep piling it on. But as you can see, well, you can't really see, I'll show you. This is the colour trouser I'm wearing today. I usually like my lip to like tie in with, you know, my outfit of the day. So those are my lips. Now that my face is somewhat tacky, I'm going to put on some makeup, I guess. I'm using the NARS Walnut Concealer. And I love this stuff, I really, really do. I'm happy actually just wearing this and going out. If I had to choose a product, it would just be this. And I wouldn't have mascara, brows or anything, it would just be concealer. I love a carved out jaw, even though I'm not really, I don't know if I am a carved out jaw kind of gal, but I do enjoy placing my makeup there. So that's kind of where I put it. And I've got a damp beauty sponge. Recently, I just bought a huge truckload of beauty sponges and I use them and I put them in the laundry with my clothes and I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do but I love it because I always have a fresh beauty sponge like the amount of times I was just using <laughs> a, a two-week-old beauty sponge to put my makeup on it's like babes 
No wonder it's looking cakey. It's because you got a cakey sponge. Treating my beauty sponges like clothes has really been helpful. Because I guess they kind of are clothes, right? They're touching your face every day. I personally don't really re-wear tops that I've worn. Unless it's like my loungewear and I've just worn it for a few hours. But like this top, for example, will go in the wash when I get home. Dab, dab, dab. Dab, dab, dab. Sometimes I wear foundation, sometimes I don't. But in the summer, I, I just want to be free. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want all this stuff, like, clogging down my face. Don't get me wrong. I love makeup. I really, really do. Where is my makeup? Oh, it's right in front of me. I use the e.l.f. Putty Blush. Now, e.l.f. is pretty cheap. And for a cheap range, I love this stuff. Like, I genuinely really like the formula of their products i don't think they're the best best but like for their price i think they're pretty good so i just put on my beauty sponge some of that like putty blush i'm just gonna dab it onto my cheek and using cream products for me as an as a naturally oily babe using cream products especially in the summer i just absolutely love like this hydro grip like just going for like a hydrated look on the base making sure they're products that sit well with each other so i put my blush on as you can see i put on my forehead and my nose and i kind of just use my blush as like a little bit of contour to blend in or a little bit of blending for the um the concealer and i don't know why i'm talking like i know what i'm doing you guys all i know is that i like my face so if you like my face do this stuff Oh, whoops. Another product I love. Now, this one, again, is a little bit on... I mean, I don't know what's pricey for you guys. To me, this stuff is pricey. Like, I grew up buying, like, the cheapest stuff. This is Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. And it is... Oh, that was worth the pause. If you're wondering if I had to pause just then. Yes, I did. It is an incredibly inconvenient product to use, actually, to be completely honest. You have to twist it, and then you squeeze it, and all this... Like, I don't know where the focus is. But basically, this gorgeous, like, liquid, um, oh, sugar, liquid, um, shimmer comes out. And I, I just love it. I prefer it to highlight. It's such a good daytime-esque shimmer look. But it's just a bit messy because this one time I got mess on the side. And so now every time I get mess on the side. But yeah, I kind of just put that back on my beauty sponge and just dab that over the area and as you can see you just get like a really cute like shimmer and a bit of shape without having one thing i was a little bit tired of don't get me wrong i do still love my mac highlighter but sometimes it is just more of like a a night out glittery look and i don't want to glitter i just want to glow and i feel like this literally just makes you glow and that is perfect for me so yeah i blend that in Sometimes, if I'm feeling a little bit cheeky, I just put a little bit on the jawline just to get that jaw pop. Just to get that jaw pop. But I really shouldn't have done that because I don't have any foundation to blend it in with. But it's too late to apologize. I think I might just not even edit this video. And I might just let you guys see the chaotic nature of my get ready. Actually, I have to go, you guys. I have to go to it. Okay, now I've got my little, my little pot. Maybelline New York. Some black pot that came with a stick uh, that is for my eyebrows that I kind of hated but I hated my eyebrow pencil more so this baby one and also what I did like about it is that it's actually black like I was so tired of these like brown black brows I was like no I want black black like I want to carve my name on my face in ink you know I don't know my brows vary every day. I think I probably like them a little less every day, but it is purely because I just need to actually style them. I'm trying to carve a diamond every morning, do you know what I mean? Because the base shape just isn't there. I shouldn't be having to do that in 30 seconds. Literally, I need to go to work. But I usually just end up getting some kind of shape, and then if it goes wrong, I tell myself, oh, I'm going for a natural brow. <laughs> And that's what I do. So those are my brows, and that will do. That will do, donkey. That'll do, donkey, that'll do. You know those lines that you heard once in a show and you just repeat to yourself the rest of your life? I wonder if the writers know that. I wonder if whoever wrote the line, that'll do, donkey, that'll do, that Shrek said in the movie, if they know that I say that, that that has been a staple motto for my life. That will do, Sarah, that will do. Okay, next up, I'm just putting on... I used the wrong brush for this crap that changes everything but i've got this london studio palette which i feel like i bought in a moment of desperation in like 
I don't know, when I forgot my makeup on my way to an event and I need some eyeshadow. But it's actually not that bad of a palette and I'm just using this like brown color, which is as naturally-ish as I can get. And I'm just putting that on my eye on my eyelid. And then I put on like a little bit <laughs> what was that? I'm sorry. I put on a little bit of like a lighter colour to create some kind of depth, just a little bit. Um, so the lighter one goes on the arch of the brow a bit more. Just to draw my eye sockets out of my face a little bit you know i actually really like a flat face you know when people are all like oh you gotta contour you gotta draw on the shadows and blah blah, blah. when it comes to like my nose eye regions i love like a flatter face like i don't really tend to add much nose bridge to my face like if i'm ever gonna contour i literally just use the end of my brush and just do like the slightest bridge but otherwise I just don't care I think flat faces are so beautiful but if my face tends towards flatness which I don't think it does I think I do still have a bit of a bridge it brush finish flawless Charlotte Tilbury powder again one of my more recent buys and additions to my makeup routine but I have to say I do notice the difference I don't think it's my perfect color sometimes I put it on and I'm like I hate that but in terms of how it sets everything it's perfect so it's really hard to know stuff. This is hard. Oh, I just remembered why I never do makeup videos. This is hard. This is hard. You see like the beautiful girlies doing the makeup videos and it's like, oh, that's so satisfying. And here I am. To be fair, I'm not doing myself justice. This is literally like a literal on my way to work before work thing. I've then got the one in dark. No, this is a different product. Airbrush bronzer. I don't know. All I think is that me and a million other shade girlies are using the same colour and that can't be right. But I use it anyway because it's quite a good formula. So I use that to contour my face a little bit and just put it in all the, the shady areas, you know, all the areas that I guess I kind of want to be more shady. And if I've ever done it, I go back in with a light brush. Okay, I think that's pretty much my makeup, you guys. I've lost my setting spray, but it's okay because I have this random collection mattifying setting spray which is hilarious because i also have here the mac mattifying setting spray and collection guess which one i'm gonna choose collection that mac one is just so unpredictable so unpredictable you might be thinking that's a lot but it's really not and as i said i'm doing a 13 hour shift today so the last thing that i do in my chaotic makeup routine is I use some waterproof mascara I hate this mascara I hate this brush but it's waterproof and I've realized that wearing waterproof mascara in summer is actually a must like I don't know why I was wearing non waterproof mascara for so long and then you just get these blobs and you just look like a messy teenager by the end of the day just by existing my eyes be leaking sometimes I like to cry I don't really like to cry but like I've been embracing my tears more recently. So I need this waterproof mascara, you know? I just need something that will stay, even if I sweat, even if I'm doing the mostest. And I use very little actually, like mainly because I hate this mascara and I hate this brush and I actually don't even know how to get it to do more. I think it's empty, to be fair to it, I think it's empty. I don't really use any eyeliner or anything like that because again i'm going to work so i've had people literally tell me that i don't look like a doctor um i've had friends tell me that they would feel nervous if a doctor who looked like me walked in that's a whole other story for another day but i'm not trying to be overly glam at work i am trying to be put together but not like you know every street's a catwalk although every street is a catwalk you know what i mean you never know, but um, this is the final makeup look. It's very, <laughs> I feel like I can't even call this a final makeup look. It's very like natural. I don't know if that's better light, but it's different light. This is my final look for today. I have to go, I have to go to work. Have a wonderful day, you guys. Um, let me know if you wanna see more makeup videos. I honestly, it, it's just what I do. I don't know if you like it or if I should ever recommend this to anyone, but um, it works for me and it's quick and easy and makes me feel good okay have a good day guys love you bye